So using blogs as a reflective journaling and having students um, show their thinking, um, I, I use that uh, every week my students blog and they're showing what they're learning and talking about their learning. It's more than simply telling me what they did. So here's an example. What I like about Blogger too is that over time, I have a chronology of each week's um, posting about what they're thinking and how they're um, what they're learning. So until the end of the semester, um, every week is posted there, and they really so you can actually see their what they're learning and thinking and how they can. Um, um, articulate um, what so it helps to use prompts and a guide so that's just one example um, another one is here for um, a different another blog so using blogger it's an easy tool it's using their Google Apps accounts um, and it's visually nice and easy to access um, and so here's again here's another post and here with the links as well so in the blogs um, what I also use is a rubric. So the rubric um, is helpful for myself when I go to score them. And I have my students also use a Google form to self-assess. So the, the rubric is here. Again, we're looking at content. Is it relevant? The quality. Another key thing with blogs is the elements of style and the use of enhancements. So if we were just writing a document or a text, it's not as important, but when we write for the web, there's a whole different grammar um, that we need to look at. It's a, a new literacy, if you will, um, where the font, the style, the layout, um, use, use of videos and images, all of those elements are ways to enhance and communicate with your audience. So at, over time, we really look at those and, um, and, and work on making the blog not just a text entry. It's, it's really writing for the web. So that's another thing we look at. And so I use also some guiding questions. I think these help help students in um, beginning to think about their thinking. Again, I don't use this. I don't want them to think this is a checklist, um, but as a way to get started. Um, it, and so that it, uh, they, they found it helpful um, because I don't want formulaic um, posts about, you know, everybody writing the same thing. So here's some prompts which which are useful. Now the Google form that I've set up. Um, again here's a sample. If you're in a Google Apps domain you might not need to collect the username um, because you can set that to automatic um, but since I'm not necessarily in one I have them the name of the person completing the form so if it's if I'm completing it I'll put my name in if it's the blog owner is someone else one of my students but if they're self-assessing then they will fill both of these out so then when I get to the data I can distinguish whether it was their score or my score again I've taken those rubric uh, questions and put it as a um, scale so zero to four. Zero, they did nothing uh, for was the if, if you look at the rubric you'll see and then the week that they've submitted it so that's the way I can actually keep track of it because when you create a Google form, as you know, it creates the, the, um, the column headers. And once the data goes in there, um, I can actually look at it. Now, if you've got um, 30 students uh, posting each week at the end, you're going to have a lot of uh, data in here to manipulate and look at. One nice thing I use is called an add-on called Autocrat. So in my sheet, um, again, if you don't have it already installed, you go to Get Add-ons and you would look for, again, um, Autocrat. So you just type in Autocrat and it should come up. Um, and then here it is. And you would actually hit my head install. I've already got it installed, so I'm not doing that. Um, so now when I go to use it, Autocrat, I'm going to launch it. What it's going to do, it's going to pull each week. It pulls um, the student data, the scores, and uh, it sends them a report. So when I fill out and assess their blog post, it's going to send them a report for what I said after I filled out the report. Um, so you also need, before you start, let's go here, my blogger, what well, you want to be organized. So again, create a folder for your class. I create um, e folders for each week's um, blog reports but also something called a master report. Because in Autocrat, 
what it is it's like a mail merge so it's going to pull the data for each student and it's going to create a report based on this template and see these little double carrots between name and blog owner as you see those those are the column headers or the question titles between those double carrots and so also down here in this column all the data is going to be pulled and in, into this template and for each individual student so I have that template ready and when I run autocrat let's do this let's go back to the sheet the data here we go I'm gonna do a the, you only do a new merge job once once you have this you don't have to do the merge job each time you might need to edit it for the week um, but you won't need to so I'm gonna go to drive um, you won't need to redo this each time um, let's see I have this this folder and this folder and there's our assessment master sheet so you also want it so you need give it a name so this is the fall semester um, blog reports again set that and what it's going to do again I want to make sure I'm pulling it from the form response sheet and that's the and you go through each of these um, little tags and you make sure it's aligned to pull f from the right um, and so I'm gonna skip score for now because that's a whole nother session I'm just gonna um, and I'll show that at a next step so I'm gonna save it and now um, as far as the name of the document that it's gonna come up with I want it the name of the blog owner so I know um, so it's a dollar sign blog owner so again the title of the new document that's created will be the, the um, my students names and I can either make it a PDF or a Google Doc and if I want to email or share them and again email it's it's using their Gmail accounts and it could be uh, well, here this is where uh, if you use the dollar sign and you go again if you scroll down here this is hiding in there the week um, so it'll show which week and here you might have a message um, you know here's your report for the week and if you want a specific you can edit this each week for the week if, if you need to or not and now I can either view it only as a Google Doc or is it can they edit can they comment on it that doc um, so you might want them to uh, comment uh, back on the doc um, I'm not going to I'm just going to send it as a viewable doc and then I go to advanced because now this is where the conditional merge option is if it's true so if I want to each week um, change it this is where um, I can say so say I want it to be week only week one so or week say week three so say I had a lot of data in there for weeks one two and three I only want them to report on three that's where I'm gonna um, really make that criteria but since I don't have much data in here today I'm just gonna um, skip this step and now if I want it in a folder I this is where I've already created a folder um, uh, for each week which is something I'd like to do um, I'm going to select the folder where those documents are going to go. Copy those documents that I can access. Uh, we'll, we'll go there. So each report, I get a copy of them in that folder. My students get them as well. I can also automatically run when the forms are submitted. So if I don't want to wait to the end of the week and I want students um, to uh, submit it, and get a report right away but as soon as I fill it out they'll get it but since I'm filling these out it's not necessary but um, I'm gonna leave it for that and now I'm gonna hit save sometimes it takes a little while and sometimes even with autocrat it has to refresh okay so there there's the merge job now again each week if I need to edit the week I'll click on edit the merge I can preview it so I'm going to hit preview to see what it looks like um, and so it's pulled up the template it's putting the data um, that I have in my form into that sheet I've only got one data entry so it's it's not a lot of um, samples so again see how it pulled into the template it pulled uh, each of the fields and the data um, 
Now it, it added a date to this total score in the grade because I haven't shown you how to actually use the sum feature and um, there's a, a couple steps involved that but this is just essentially to, to show that so if I had a lot of comments they would be showing up there as well so I'm going to close the preview and I'm going to run the merge and so now it's going to email um, the blog owner um, uh, and, which is the gmail address here a copy of that report it's also going to put a copy of that report in my folder from the blog reports and okay so it's it did one merge job so I'm going to hit okay I'm going to actually close this now and also what you see in the spreadsheet if you go over um, and down there's new fields here and don't mess with these um, but it gives you a link to that document as well not only did it email it put it in the folder there's a link in this sheet as well so I can always access um, the reports, the blog reports. So I sort of I like this as a way to giving feedback to students um, uh, specifics uh, and using forms makes it simpler. I simply have to just go through the form. I, I'm looking at their blog and I'm filling it out. Um, it, 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 the process works quite well. Um, so let me know if you have any um, issues or problems doing that and I hope that this has been a helpful tutorial.